All right, here's a question to all the legal channels out there. They may understand or know things better. But right here in this clip, you see that the pistol brace rule, it says it uh, is for guns between 12 and 26 inches of length. We know you can't put a vertical grip on a pistol, but the ATF has also said that it's okay to put a uh, vertical grip on a pistol over 26 inches overall length, and here's that. So my question is, if the overall length without the brace attached and with the uh, flash hider or muzzle brake pinned and welded, if it's over 26 inches total overall length, then does the pistol brace rule even apply to that because that's not considered a pistol, it's not considered an SBR, it's considered a firearm by federal standards, if I understand all this right. I've reached out to just about every channel out there that's talking about this that might know. Um, I've reached out to comments and in emails, and I'm sure that they're all busy as hell and just haven't seen it. So I'm putting this video out there hoping that they see this and they answer it. Because if it's a loophole, a lot of people could use that instead of conforming and, you know, registering their stuff or just taking the brace off. Um, just my thoughts on it. I think the pistol brace rule is bullshit. I think eventually it'll get overturned in court. But like bump stocks, a lot of people cut them up and now there's a good chance that they may be legal again. All that money was sent out the door, so to speak. So this is just a serious, legitimate question. I don't understand the laws. I'm trying to help people if there's a loophole they can use to use it. So if any of like armed uh, scholar, legally armed, uh, butt busters, Washington law, if any of you guys see this video, let me know if I'm wrong, if I'm right, what's going on. Um, other than that, I really ain't got much to say today. Hope everybody has a good day.